Well, I was trying to find a particular video from Ben Shapiro, only to later realize, oh, it wasn't Ben Shapiro, it was Michael Knowles. It was the video where he was talking about Milo Yiannopoulos going straight. Anyway, this 2017 video popped up during my search. And there was a small section I wanted to address, the main section, the main meat and potatoes of his argument. I wanted to address this because he thought that his argument was crushing the atheist's question. The bottom line is that without the belief that there is a purpose to the universe... This doesn't have to come in the form of a religion. There could be a larger purpose to the universe that we just currently don't have the capacity or means to understand. But we're always getting a better understanding of the universe. The notion that we can somehow understand the overall purpose of the universe because some old religious book says so is very arrogant and honestly kind of naive. Why would that religious book have it right, but all the other religious books and beliefs and research all have it wrong? And there are countless interpretations of the Bible, from hardcore Baptist to Universalist Unitarian. Without a belief that there is a purpose to your life? Believing that there's a purpose to your life doesn't require a belief in an anthropomorphic God. Without a belief that you have the capacity to make individual choices, it's very difficult to build a civilization. By difficult, I mean impossible. Believing in free will doesn't require a belief in an anthropomorphic God either. Look, there are plenty of secular countries that do just fine. People in those countries still feel that they have a sense of purpose. And just like everyone else, they're always getting a better understanding of the universe. The culture and values of the United States is not particularly secular. It's downright Judeo-Christian. But we try to make our laws as secular as possible as to not cram one religion down everyone's throats. That's one of the many reasons why we have the First Amendment. I do see a lot of fear from a lot of people over the notion of this country moving away from Judeo-Christian culture and values. People are wondering what will replace those values. I wonder that too. So even though I disagree with the notion that you need religion in order to have free will and a sense of purpose, I do think it's really good to point out that we do need to have some common values in order for us to have a civilization. Thanks for watching.